And I'm anxious to know, because I know I want to know where Carlos is going, but it's also going to set the grid so quickly. And we'll have our grid oh, yeah. in 2025 really, really fast. Because as soon as Carlos makes his decision, that takes up one seat. And then everybody else knows that Carlos isn't available. So then they can start like locking out in all their other drivers. So he really is the most important domino to fall, I think. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have the rest of our our grid set for next year. So that's why I'm anxious and excited. Yes, to see Carlos, but also to see where everyone else everyone goes, else who's without a seat yeah and who's joining the grid next year because we're definitely gonna have rookies next season we didn't this season we had the same grid but we're definitely right. gonna have rookies next season yeah and I mean we could have up to three rookies with you know Ollie Behrman who's probably going to go to Haas Kimi Antonelli who's probably gonna go to Mercedes and we'll talk a little bit more about Kimi in a in the news of the week portion um I your your face if you're not listening to um you know, if you're not watching us on YouTube, Emily kind of made a face when I said Antonelli's name, which I kind of also agree with, but we'll get to that. Um, and also Jack Dewan is one of the options for Alpine. Um, so there are a lot of, you know, there's, there's a big chance for a lot of upheaval that we won't know about. And, you know, Kevin Magnuson said, you know, everyone is waiting for Carlos to make his choice. Yeah. It's an extreme game of musical chairs and facts Carlos is, pl- Carlos is playing the music <laughs> um yeah I mean well t- speaking of Jack like I don't think it's a oh he might be joining now that Ocon's like definitely not coming back to Alpine because they've mutually decided to part ways <laughs> mutually um, allegedly um I think that Jack's like a shoe in for that seat because I don't know who else Alpine would would take I mean, there's a, there's a question of like Joe Guan Yu maybe or even Botas, but I just I don't know if I don't know if Joe or Botas wants the mess that Alpine's in right now, and we'll talk about that also in our news of the week section. Um, so I I feel like Jack makes sense going yeah. to Alpine. I mean, Joe's come out and it's been reported that he brings about thirty five million dollars with him, for- right like sponsorship money, which is a really big deal for the mid tier, lower tier teams. And he's also said like, you know, I'd be happy staying with Sauber. I could see myself at Alpine. Um, I think he would honestly just take any seat available to him because he just wants to stay on the grid because he's really border bordering, you know, not returning to the grid. I think his $35 million, you know, sponsorship money is a really good, ace in the hole for him but I don't think it's going to solve all the issues of trying to get to the track right like I sent you an article that allegedly said that Haas turned it down in favor of potentially an Ali Behrman Esteban Ocon lineup um Haas you know has its, its other issues um you know we're you know so and they also you, you said to me like Haas doesn't know what they want which is all, all <laughs> probably true um but I I just I worry and people have you know reportedly people have said that like the biggest concern for Zhou Guan Yu is that you know nobody has seen him perform because he hasn't been in a good performing car his entire F1 career and and that you know all the money in the world can't really you know all the money in the world for a rookie not a rookie driver but a younger driver can't really make up for that no, and it's and it's hard. It's like what we've seen with Yuki, right? Yuki's never had an amazing car, but he's been able to outdrive the car, so people give him respect and they're like, Yuki should stay on the grid and he's doing well. And same with Alex Albon, like he, you know, took the seat at Williams, but he outdrove the car and was doing really, really well. He did extend at Williams, which is great for him to stay on track, but when you're in some of those lower tiered team cars where the the car just isn't performing and it's not a good car. It's really hard to show and prove your worth. Exactly. So that, that's, that continues to be my big concern with Joe Guan Yu though. Maybe if Carlos turns down the Williams offer and goes to Sauber, maybe that opens something up for Joe, which I think some people have already predicted um, Joe going to Williams. I believe that's something that we talked about in the Chinese Grand Prix. One of the, one of the Chinese Grand Prix episodes where we talked about the potential grid. I think it was probably the reaction. 